Crazy. This is the way had to go on to the Lord. The Lord come out the way. Yeah. It's the hard on free. But you know all this your time. What kind of rest of people been a kind of young guine, kind of young guine? Some the people we ain't fussing no more, dog. Some the people that act like they crack people, we the crack people too. I'm like a that shit, thing like a that. Then I, like they ain't never hear the people crack people now. <laughs> but you know, one day, I need your boat coming across. Ah, this your group of people from town. But we were used to these boats that kind in, but these buggery thing, you know. Call itself uh, Gideon Knight. Yeah. Call itself Missionary. They ain't gonna look like we missionary thing for the prayer's house. But they said they're a missionary and they come and so I have to try for a lot of people, have to read a little bit, and then like that. But this should be. This young man will be coming in. Remember she. But he ain't look like the rest of them. And when we look a little closer, we say, Great God. That one of that one like a weird eh? Who that are? Yeah. You come in with them? You know, that one my name is Charlotte Fortin. Mm -hmm. And when Charlotte Fortin come in, I remember that. Heaven and what you did think for him now. People, y'all ain't been quite true, but that yeah, I'll let. Him and the cracky teeth like a weird, not that kind of thing like that. And he come in there all the rest of the people, so it can't be easy. When he first get you, but after a little while, Mm -hmm. Oh, we got them out for jokes when we do, you know. Yeah. But I used to write all the time. Every time I see them and meet the old Peter, right? I see them by the boat in the right. They almost like, I could still get it at Gally, but now, yeah, sometimes I can still get it with Charlotte Ward. Like I did it on the page. I read them my own self. It was on the afternoon of a warm, murky day in late October that our steamer, the United States, touched down the landing at Hilton Head. A motley assemblage had collected at the wharf. Officers, soldiers, contrabands of every size and huge. Black was, however, the prevailing color. The first view of Hilton Head is desolate enough a long, low, sandy point stretching out into the sea with no visible dwellings up on it, except the rows of small, white, roofed houses which have lately been built for the free people. After signing a paper wherein we declared ourselves loyal to the government and wherein we also were set forth fearful penalties in that paper, should we ever be found guilty of treason, we were allowed to land and immediately took General Saxton's boat, the Flora, to be firm. The general was on board, and we were presented to him. He is handsome, courteous, affable, and looks as if he, as a gentleman and a soldier. From Hilton Head to Buford, the same long, low line, sandy coast bordered by trees, formidable gunboats in the distance, and gray ruins of an old fort said to have been built by the Huguenots more than 200 years ago. Arrived at Beaufort, we found that we had not yet reached our journey's end. While waiting for the boat, which was about to take us to, our, to the island St. Helena, we had a little time to observe the ancient town. The houses in the main street, which fronts the bay, are large, handsome, built of wood in the usual southern style, with spacious piazzas and surrounded by fine trees. We noticed in one yard a magnolia as high as some of the largest shade maples, which with rich, dark, shiny foliage. A large building which was once the public library is now sheltered for free people from Ferdinandina. Did the rebels know it? That they would doubtless upturn their aristocratic noses and exclaim in disgust to what base uses. We confess that it was highly satisfactory to us to see 
how the tables are turned. Now that the whirling of time has brought us to, to its revenges, we saw the marketplace in which slaves were sometimes sold. But we were told that the buying and selling at auction were usually done in Charleston. The arsenal, a large stone structure, was guarded by cannon and sentinels. The houses and the smaller streets had mostly a dismantled, desolate look. We saw no one in the streets but soldiers and free people. There were indications that already northern improvements had reached this southern town. Among them was a wharf, a convenience that one wonders how the southerners could so long have exist existed without it. The more we know of their mode of life, the more we are inclined to marvel at its utter shiftlessness. Little colored children of every hue were playing about the streets, looking as merry and happy as children ought to look. Now that the evil shadow of slavery is no longer, some of the officers we have met did not impress us favorably. They talked flippantly and sneeringly at Negroes, whom, found, whom they found we had come down to teach, using an epitaph more offensively than gentlemanly. They assured us that we were in great danger of rebel attacks, that the yellow fever prevailed to an alarming extent, and that indeed the manufacture of coffins was the only business that was at all flourishing at present. Although by no means daunted by these alarming stories, we were glad when the announcement of our boat revealed us to the edifying conversation, relieved us. We rowed across to Ladies Island, which adjoined St. Helena for the splendors of the grand southern sunset. The gorgeous clouds and crimson <coughs> gold were reflected as a mirror, as in, in a mirror, in the smooth, clear waters below. As we glided along, the rich tones of the Negro boat, men broke upon the evening stillness, sweet, strange, and solemn. Jesus, make, make the blind see. Jesus, make the cripple walk. Jesus, make the deaf to hear. Walk in kind, Jesus. No man can bend a move. It was nearly dark when we reached the island. And then we had three miles drive through the lonely roads to the house of the superintendent. We thought how easy it would be for a band of gorillas had, had they chanced that way to seize and hang us. But we were in that excited, jubilant state of which mine, which makes fear impossible, and we sang John Brown with a will as we drove through the pines and palmettos. Oh, it was good to sing that song in the very heart of rebeldom. Harry, our driver, amused us much. He was surprised to find that we had not heard of him before. Why, I thought everybody at the North had heard of me, he said very, very innocently. We learned afterwards that Mrs. F who made the tour of the islands last summer had mentioned Harry publicly. Someone had told him he, of course, imagined that he had become quite famous. <laughs> Notwithstanding this little touch of vanity, Harry is one of the best and smartest men on the island. Gates occurred. It seemed to us at every few yards distance, made in the oddest fashion opening in the middle like folding doors for the accommodation of horsemen. The little boy who accompanied us as gate opener answered to the name of Cupid. We arrived at the headquarters of the general superintendent. Miss S, we were kindly received by him. Mr. S, we were kindly received by him and the ladies and shown into the parlor where a cheerful wood fire glowed in the grate. It had a home-like look, but still there was a sense of unrealty, unreality about everything, and I felt that nothing less than a vigorous shaking up, such as Grandfather Smallweed daily experience, would arouse me thoroughly to the fact that I was in South Carolina. 
the next morning, L and I awakened by the cheerful voices of men, women, children, chickens in the yard. We ran to the window and looked out. Women in bright colored handkerchiefs, some carrying pails on their heads, were crossing the yard, busy with their morning work. Children were playing and tumbling around them. On every face, there was a look of serenity and cheerfulness. My heart gave a great thaw, throb of happiness, and I looked at them and thought, they are free. So long downtrodden, so long crushed to the earth, but now in their old homes, forever free. And I thank God that I live to see this day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.